welcome to Wicked Chicken Homestead. Let's take a look at our potatoes. I've got, they're starting to flower. Flowers. Looks like I need to deadhead some of them. Oh. Looks like he replanted two of my flowers in front of the garlic. And our onions, tomatoes, more onions. and flowers. Oh, got more flowers there. Now I used tool. I don't know if you can see that very well. I have tool covering the radishes and my salad greens. So far, so good. Looks like it's kept the woodchuck out. Oh look, there's a bulb on my marigold. Got tomato peppers. Oh, better pick those maple trees. Don't need those growing right there. Peppers and flowers up here in front. Tomato, more potatoes. Peppers are doing okay. It doesn't seem like they've grown much, but I guess they have. They have more leaves now. Go back over here. My pots died. Tomatillos and peas up against this trellis. My husband didn't realize there was a melon stuck in with these, so he picked it. I have a, they're, they're starting to flower, a zucchini, and I've got butternut squash too. Sunflowers aren't that big yet. Oh, the tomato plant fell over. I have to do something about that. Oh, sorry about that. I dropped you. see how these tomatoes come up. My grandchildren's garden is trying to make a comeback. There's flowers, there's borage in there. In that blue pot. It is 90 degrees out today. And I'm going to go back in the house where it's cooler. We just had a birthday party for my grandson. He'll be six on Wednesday. Starting to get blooms on my chamomile. This rose bush is doing great out here. I have thyme and cilantro. Don't mind the mess. Put a pan of water out here to water with to be a decent temperature. I can 
13 pints of hamburger yesterday and the day before. I was able to find two cases of pint jars at a store. Bought some extra lids. And right on top, I get this. But I had to use one of them, but I think I'm going to be a little, slightly dishonest and use a lid off one of my brand new jars and take that back. I should have take, just taken the lid off the jar in the first place, but, you know. Here's the succulent that I um, propagated from a leaf. My daughter didn't think I could do it. But that leaf was in one of my other plants that I bought at the market. And I decided to try it. 